Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're told the gravitational force G between an object of mass A and an object of mass B is given by the formula above, where D represents the distance between the two objects. We're asked that if objects K and M have the same masses respectively, as do objects A and B, the force between K and M is nine times the gravitational force between A and B, then the distance between K and M is what fraction of the distance between A and B? So, let's call the distance between K and M D1, and between A and B D2. So, the gravitational force G for A and B is equal to AB divided by D, which is D2 squared. And for K and M, we multiply the masses up top, so it's just K and M over D1 squared, right? So these are the two formulas for our um, gravitational forces. We're told that the gravitational force between K and M is nine times the gravitational force between A and B. So this force, let's call this G1 and this one G2. G1, the one for K and M, is nine times the one for A and B, which is G2. So we have for G1, this is equal to Km over D1 squared is equal to A9 times AB over D2 squared. What are we saying? We're saying that K and M have the same mass as A and B. So if we divided by the mass of any of these objects, then one of those would cancel. And then we divide by that same mass again, they all cancel. We're left with one over D1 squared is equal to nine over D2 squared. Now we can cross multiply, and we get that 9d1 squared is equal to d2 squared. And if we take the square root of both sides, the square root of 9 is 3, d1 squared, the square root of that, the square root of something squared is just the thing itself, which is d1, is equal to, again, same thing where it's just equal to d2. So, we are asked, the distance between k and m, d1, is what fraction of the distance between a and b? So if we divide both sides by three, we get that it is equal to the distance between A and B divided by three. What is that? That's one third. So therefore, D is gonna be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.